So now the second question is, uh, well, how do we know this is a real problem? And by no, I mean, well, what evidence do we have, right? Is there qualitative uh, evidence that it is? Is there quantitative evidence that we can look at? And I highlight the word real, not because you know, I think that there are like fake problems, but, but just because you know, I think the question to ask is, is this a problem that is worth solving? You know, all of us have uh, limited time, energy, resources, money, whatever, to be able to devote you know, our, our being to trying to solve problems. What makes this one the one that we should pick out of the thousands or millions of problems that are out there? And so this question is really about just making sure that the opportunity um, is, is, is something that is worth tackling and that we aren't just you know, solving problems for ourselves individually, but that we actually are, are very uh, aware of the problems that the audience that we're building for is facing. So for the example of groups, you know, I want to talk about, uh, I want to find other people who are interested in discussing the same things as I am. Uh, the way that we tried to validate whether or not this was a big enough use case was, of course, we went and uh, we uh, talked to a lot of people, but we also looked at some of the data that we had. So when we designed the group's product uh, to start with, we imagined that most of the time you, know, you would get invited to the group. So I might start a book club, and I'm going to invite some of my friends who like reading the same books as me, and you know, th that's, how, that's how we're all going to know about the group. So in our initial formulation of groups, it was really all about you know, being invited uh, by somebody else who was already a part of this group. But one of the things, actually, that, um, that some of the engineers on, our, on the groups team had hacked over the years was this little unit called groups you should join. And so some of you guys might have seen it. Sometimes you are scrolling through your feed and you know, this little story will pop up. And it, based on you know, what your friends have joined and groups in your community and uh, groups that are similar to things that we think you might be interested in, you'll see some recommendations. Um, and and you, know, you can go and, and explore them and decide to join them if you want. And you know, we thought that this was just a small feature, but really you know, most of the inviting was going to happen through uh, you know, the normal invite process. But when we took a look at the data, what we found was that actually a third you know, of, of uh, group memberships were starting to happen uh, via this little groups you should join unit, which meant that there actually was a need and a desire um, already using the, the you know, tools that we currently had that people wanted to find things that they weren't explicitly being invited to that there were examples of all sorts of things that they wanted to be able to participate in and see that they just weren't getting connected to any other way. So this was, I think, good evidence for us that if we wanted to devote something, you know, a, a larger solution to helping people discover groups, that that was a worthwhile endeavor.